Hello everyone, welcome to this week's plumberparts.co.uk video, a very brief video for you today. The tap behind me over there is leaking, so we're going to replace it with this new tap just here. So without further ado, here's how you do it. So then here's the tap we've got here, as you can see, just completely ruined, not very happy at all, so it needs changing. So the first thing you're going to want to hope and pray is there, is a couple of these little babies. Oh look, isolation valves. Hey, hey, hey. So we've got a couple of those there, so I'm just going to switch those two off now. If there aren't any isolation valves, I'm afraid to tell you that you're going to have to go either to your combi boiler or to your unvented cylinder or to your vented cylinder and find out where those are. And I'm not going to explain that to you now because every airing cupboard in the world is different, okay? Every system is different. So where you turn your hot and cold water off is going to be different. Good idea is to ring up your plumber, find out if you, if you know who did the plumbing. And if you don't, ring up a plumber and get them to come in and do this job for you. But if you've got these under here and you're confident you can turn the water off if you haven't, then let's carry on. Sometimes these will leak from this little bit here. Sometimes they'll just drip a bit. But oftentimes you'll find... God, that is tight. Look at that, that is a tight one. I bet this one don't go off. <laughs> the joy of the job. Oh, they should go fully across, but they're obviously not. Oh, it's the same with this one here as well. Oh, would you believe it? The thing I said I wouldn't have to do, because there's fouls underneath, I'm now gonna have to do. So at this point, I found that in the airing cupboard, the combination valve doesn't have a balanced feed for the cold coming off it. So I'd only be able to shut the hot side up there. So I went downstairs into the kitchen, had a little sniff about, met the lovely dog, Cassie. Where does the mains water, the mains water? Cassie, be quiet, my darling. That's Cassie, she's featured in many Plumber Parts videos. We found her in the end. <laughs> In our next video, we'll be changing that tap as well. Oh my God. Right, okay, so we've got the hot and cold off now. Guarantee I'm gonna go up here. We're gonna find that that bath tap has stopped running. But um, yeah, so look, that's off. They're fed from the same place as this, okay? So we're all ready to get underneath here and strip out our old part work. Oh yeah. So next up, oh yeah, and by the way, just wanna let you know, all the tools that I use in this video, apart from these, because I actually made these myself. <laughs> so yeah, if you want these, maybe send me an email and I'll get my old man to weld a couple up. Um, but all the tools I use in this video, in this bag and the bag and everything on it, you can find in our Amazon store, links below. So thanking the Lord, we can actually get around these. And look, because they're flexies, these do up on rubber. So they don't you they're not usually really tight. And if they are, it means someone tightened them up who didn't know what they were doing which is just constant. You just come across that all the while. So there's that there. Make a note as well which side this is. Okay, so we've got that one off. Look how easy that was to come off. Right now, and this is why I know loads of you are gonna want these. So this makes the job so much easier. The fact that I've made up my own tap spanners with these extensions on it. And this is why, look, I can get under here and undo these nuts, which is the next part of our job. I can just get under here like that. But unfortunately, you're not gonna have to do, you're not gonna be able to do that if you don't have these. And I don't think many people have because I don't know of, the, I've only made one set of these long ones like this. I tell you what, I bet if I did paint these, I'd sell absolutely loads of them. Sometimes you'll find the whole bolt comes out, just like it is here. So look, the whole bolt's just come out of there. No big deal, we, you know, it's the old tap. We don't really want it here anymore. Need to be somewhat a contortionist to do this. Houdini was definitely a plumber, that's what I would say. This is not coming out as easy as it is here. <laughs> right, there we go. Right, now we're ready to pull that old one out. And usually you'll do one flex at a time. Just like this, so that's the first one out, and that's the second, and there's our old tap out. Right then, so now we prep a new tap for install. Best way to do that is to strip off the nuts on the bottom here, we we'll just take these off nice and quickly, and pop them to one side, obviously we're gonna need these in a minute. You've already, I think you already know roughly what we're gonna be doing on this job to make this work out okay, but you know, you wanna see how it all goes all the way. Then we'll just get a screwdriver on the end, you usually find there's a little slot at the end of these studs, and just give that 
a little nip. That is it. Don't go too much on these, otherwise they'll, they'll splay the thread at the end and you won't get your new nuts on once you've taken them off. And then you will go nuts, believe me. By the way, do you like my t-shirt? Plumbers out there, you'll like this. You can get the t-shirts in the merch bit below, of course. Also, if you want, join Plumber Parts, support the channel, and become a male, uh, become a male? <laughs> become a member of the Ale Army. You can become a male if you like, I don't really care. Which is live streams every Thursday at 6.30. Uh, you get like sneak peeks and bits and bobs like that. It's really, really good fun. I think you'll enjoy it. Anyway, next thing we want to do is the braided hoses on these are coloured. We've got a red one and a blue one. Red is always on the left. I say always, sometimes it's not, but it should be for, for water eggs in the UK. You may ask why. It's actually quite a good reason. It's for people who are visually impaired. Now these, you will not need to do up too much. They seal up on a small O-ring just in here and that's where the seal happens. The seal doesn't happen because of tightness. So just give them a little nip up with your hands and then that's it, they're done. Right, so I'm just gonna get this other one on here and then we'll be ready to whip this tap back in. In seconds, guys, doesn't take a while, all right? Uh, and then we'll get the water back on and make sure that everything's okay. Before we put that in, let's just get a quick recap on how these work, because I've done a video on this before. You've got a collar on the bottom, a metal collar, and then you've also got this small rubber collar on here. And what happens is the rubber goes first, then the metal, around just like that. And if you imagine my fingers here, the basin, that's how we clamp it up. We're gonna go with our bolts all the way up here, and then we're gonna clamp my fingers, or basin, in that little bit there. Very simple to do. Let's do it now. I say it's simple to do, it's actually a nightmare because you've got to get under the sink to do it. But I don't know. Get okay, this just a bit of a clean off. So, when I said, one at a time of these, just feed them in like so. Give them a little wobble about. The manufacturers of this new tap have actually sent out their own little tap spanner with it, which is nice and handy. All right, I'll try and go from the other side so you get a good view of what's going on here. So I'm gonna get these two on there like so. Now we just need to get one bolt on. Do the same on other side, oh yes. <laughs> okay, so we've got those on now. Let's try their little tightener upper, shall we? There we go, just hold the the top of the tap where you want it. Make sure you've got that just nice and straight and lovely. That's going up nice. And because these are quarter turn taps, you don't need to go mad with doing these up. Uh, while we're here, because we're good people, and we're not just going to leave stuff not right, just going to get this, I know I can't get my grips the right way around on this, but we're just going to change these valves over as well while we're here. So you can quickly watch me do that, because you might have to do that if this, if it comes to this. And then it's the full, the full Monty then, isn't it? Well, the full Monty without the nudity. Oh yeah, baby. And then twist them so they face where we want to be looking. Just on the outside like that. Just want to reiterate this point to plumbers, apprentices and DIYers. If you find that the valve you're trying to work on doesn't work, Replace the valve, please. And what they've done with these, there's a trick to this, because these are quite long. You wouldn't want to kink these up when you're getting them in. So what you do, you loop them around over the top, just like that. Oh yeah, also make sure that the rubbers are in the ends before you do that as well. And remember what I said about these as well, they don't need a lot of tightening up. Need a little nip. And we're there. I'll just do the same on the other side now. All right, let's get this other one out as well. This is why I love doing this job, because you know, you get to get down dirty. Lots of dirty stuff. Yeah, baby. I'm actually gonna point both of them this way, because they kind of both wanna go this way. It's the easiest place to get to these two is, is from this direction. Right, so I want to draw your attention to something now here. These two are on, okay? So we've done our work, we've got the valves on down there at the moment and everything's switched off and I'm pretty sure everything's gonna be fine. So when you're doing a job like this, it's very important to have control over the situation, especially when you're turning the water back on. And I'm a great believer in being very near to what you've been working on when you build pressure again. 
Now, we don't need to build pressure by just turning the valve on and then pumping everything up. What we can do is we can leave two taps on, like the ones near the bath, um, which are right next to where we've just been, and then we can go and turn the mains water on and turn all the, all the lives and supplies like that back on, because then we've got control over the situation, which is very important, isn't it, Jim? Absolutely. There we go, see? So we're just gonna go back under the sink now. We're gonna hear loads of water rushing through, but we'll know that we aren't building up loads of pressure where we don't want to. That's back on now. So imagine I'd had those, those bath taps shut now. We've built up, you know, three or four bars worth of pressure, but we're not actually next to the work that we've done, which is not great, is it? So I can hear water running now because the bath taps are open, but we haven't built pressure yet. So I just can't say it enough. It's something that is quite simple for you to do as a DIYer or as a plumber or as an apprentice. Um, and then you could be near something when it goes wrong because sometimes things can go wrong. So here we are. Just gonna have a look at this now. And they're looking pretty good. So now let's build pressure. And look, I'm right here, next to it all. Yeah, looks like we're all good. We've got a lovely bit of control now. So let's just turn our first valve on. That's on. Then this valve. Great stuff. So there we go, we've taken out this horrible old chap, hello. Uh, why am I doing that, I don't know. But we've got rid of that, hopefully that's given you a bit of an idea as how to do it yourself. We've also changed over those valves as well, which is something if your plumber comes in and says, oh they're fine, for the time it takes to change the valves, if they don't work properly, you might as well just get on and do it, mightn't you? So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have and we've helped you out, and we've saved you a bill or something like that, you can leave us a tip. I can buy myself a coffee. How about that? Or you can become a member of the AL Army and be around every week for the live streams. Also, remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the like and comment below. I often answer your comments in our bi-weekly comments video as well. On this channel so far, he said, the history of why we don't use B-Days on the scale of that of Europe stems back hundreds of years and is actually quite interesting a read. It all stemmed from an association with prostitution and birth control in France. So, thanks ever so much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. And remember, it's a whole time. Woo! I gotta change the right now.